coupon code on the screen for you guys. With bloody oak. Again, deliciously displayed. I'm too busy to care right now. <laughs> love my, love my, love the fact that I'm holding a sauce bottle. The, the, the tape that she was using, I asked her, I said, listen, we're not gonna have hair to go to the, to the wedding. Am I okay with that? No. No. I'll have a mental breakdown. All fresh, I turned you there. This is what I have never ever tasted. Workout is done. I've been mean, sorry, I get in a mood after a workout, but guys, I did do a workout for 56 minutes and total calories were 231, active calories were at 178, and my average heart rate was if you can see it, 116 beats per minute. But I've been making this smoothie concoction maybe for like I want to say three weeks straight. Let me just every single day after a workout um 30 grams of oats sugar-free maple syrup i love this stuff so much that i have another four in my pantry because when they go out girlfriend they go out and then i just pre-cook this in the microwave just a little dash of water yep pre-cook that for about 40 seconds and then, um, are, are you crying? Hey, what's going on? Hello? <coughs> no, that doesn't give you a chance to scream at me, love. And then we do one serving of Milo. Hang on a second, let me just pop in my 300 ml of water. Excuse me, why are you crying? Oreo and Abby, come here. Stop that. Yep, 300 ml of water. 100 ml of almond milk. Just so it's like a little bit more creamy. And then let me, yeah, so that you can see what I'm doing better. And then, one second, girlfriend. I think this was 20 grams. Yep, yeah, 20 grams of Milo. grams of Milo is a lot of bloody Milo, if you ask me. When I was a kid, we just spooned this. Did anyone else do that? Great. Done. 
and then we go. Hey, stop it. One serving of this bad boy, which is about 32 grams, if I'm not mistaken. That's the blessed cookie crunch. I'll leave my coupon code on the screen for you guys. For blessed and EHP. Um, and then last step, just 20 grams of the Natvia chalk sauce. Usually I'll also add a banana. Or half a banana. The thing with this is it's just hard to get it out, you know? Like I wish there. And like if I go over, I really don't care. I only do this so I know my serving sizes. And like in case if somebody asks me for the recipe, I can give it to them. And not to forget our cooked oats. 40 seconds in the microwave, quick oats. Gotta love it. Amazing stuff. I did add a little, oh yeah, I did show you guys. I added a little bit. Mmm. I mean, you can't go wrong with bloody oats. There's just something to it, you know? Yum. She's gonna love that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I love it when I make the smoothie perfect in quantity. While we're here, I thought I will unbox a lovely little package with you guys from Tada! Hello Fresh. Okay. I was able to choose my meals. HelloFresh is a meal delivery service for anybody who wants to better their health, better their eating style, or learn new recipes. And also who is like students, busy mums, busy dads, busy families who don't want to spend too much time A, at the grocery store, B, who don't want to spend too much money on groceries, C, who are time poor, D, who doesn't want to think about what to cook tonight. And who don't like food wastage because everything comes pre-prepared pre-packed for the number of servings that you order so basically this week I have chosen and by the way for a Christmas menu they actually have a really good selection just over here so you can pause that and check that out delicious way to treat yourself at Christmas and then it comes with a little pamphlet of unpack your goodies uh, pop your colors into the fridge, choose your recipe to get cooking for the night, and then whatnot. They also have an app as well. But the recipes that I chose this week was just three meals for two serves for Ned and I. Pesto and feta chicken with Herbie wedges and a pear salad, just like that. And then we have Moroccan spiced salmon with pearl couscous. Again, deliciously displayed. And then we have Thai beef results with sesame pumpkin. You guys know my obsession with pumpkin and it's going strong, let me tell you. So I just had to choose this one. And then they come packaged like this in little bags with color coding on them. So you know that the color coding on the corner of your menu is, you know, for that box. So for this box, it's a orange one. And then we have an orange little patent, um, little sticker on there also got my blue box and then my dark blue box as well and then it comes oh they're so cute oh i love that so there is an ice pack in here and it comes with all of your little sides so your basil pesto beautifully portioned for you if you are calorie counting they also have meal plans for that your salmon all portioned out for you. I love this. Oh my God, they gave me a little gift of mint chocolate. Let me tell you, I'm going to be enjoying that tonight. That's mine. Not Ned's. Your little mayonnaise. They also do have like 
um, different kinds of styles of eating. So if you're keto or if you're paleo or if you're vegan, dairy free, vegetarian, they have all of these kinds of services available. But I will pop everything over the screen as I'm talking, obviously, and then um, leave a link down below for you guys to go and check out. And leave my coupon code on the screen too. But thank you, HelloFresh, for sending this over. I'm definitely going to be showing you guys one of these recipes tonight. So I love that for me. It's literally 11 o'clock. When I'm filming this, I'm going to make like a potato, zucchini, carrot kind of um, slice. Don't mind me, please. I look horrid. I know. It's 11 o'clock at night time. I'm like, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a carrot, zucchini, uh, what's it called? Carrot, zucchini, potato slice. Like a, think of a zucchini slice, but with potato and carrot in it. And then I'll post a recipe up for you guys on my stories and all that stuff. Like I'll walk you guys through all right these are your ingredients so when i label things as low carb flour please keep in mind that that's what i'm using so you're going to use about i'll pop the little um little card of what you need inside but instead of the 30 grams of corn i'm going to add in a heap of diced up vegetables because i just have this in the fridge and i'd rather use that up than opening up a can of corn and then over here we've got deli slices chicken deli slices a frozen carrot but i'm going to still grate them for three eggs instead of five one zucchini, um, one potato, one onion, mozzarella cheese, and like I said, the low carb flour. That is your ingredients. Let me grate all of these, mix all of them up and pop it into a dish and show you how it turns out. Okay, so that's all my vegetables grated. That is 200 grams of the zucchini, 252 grams of the potato, 120 grams of the carrot, and then 84 grams of the onion. Then we have over here the 170 grams of the diced veg, 160 grams of the chicken, and then I think about 80 grams of the mozzarella, three eggs, and then how much flour did I put in? 120 grams of flour that I put in. So I'm going to basically whip them all up in there and mix it up. All right, this is how it looks like. <clears throat> So it's like a really nice doughy kind of consistency. When you mush it up, it stays in its form. It doesn't fall apart. That's what you want. My mum used to make this with zucchini and corn, like zucchini fritters. We, what do we call them? We call them mujrat in Turkish. That's the one. But this, hey, enough. It's 11 o'clock in the night time. But that's how it looks like. All right, I'm gonna pop it into a dish and give it a bake for on 200 degrees for about 40 minutes maybe. This is honestly phenomenal. So I have literally the next week's worth of meals all in this little section over here. Guys, that cuts out time for meal prep, from food prep, from absolutely everything. My salmon and my pumpkin over there, my two meal kits and my extras that came in my full bag are over there. But today's meal is the pesto and feta chicken with herbie wedges and pear salad. Literally everything I need in this little subsection over here. For busy mums, this is so amazing. Let's get opened, let's get cooking. So we've got our mixed lettuce, our garlic and herb seasoning, pear for our pear salad, red onion, and our two potatoes. You have all of your nutrition information over there and also the guide to guide steps um, to make your meal. So first you bake the wedges, preheat your oven to 240 degrees, um, cut into wedges and place on a bread with olive oil. Her garlic and herb seasoning, season with pepper, toss to coat and a bake until tender for 25 minutes. We're going to make that a lot easier. We've got an air fryer. We're gonna shove those bad boys into an air fryer. Let's get going. Time to chop up our pear. All right, time to cut up our chicken. And the way it explains this, as you grab the chicken, hold it down with one hand, slice through the middle to make two steaks. And I am just gonna just pat the chicken dry. Just 
just so it doesn't slip when I am um, when I'm chopping it. There we go. Okay, and then we pop the basil pesto over our chicken. So it says return, okay, yep. Cook the onions during until softened. Spread the basil pesto over the chicken, then top with onion and crumble over the feta. Bake until chicken is cooked through. Okay, so I do need to turn on my head. So it says lay down the pesto. So it's coated all evenly. Great. And then it says top with onion. And then it says to top with feta cheese. And into the oven she goes. And that is got to cook for until chicken is cooked through. Okay. Then we make the salad. So for the salad, you just need your salad mix, balsamic vinegar, and your pear, and a bit of olive oil. And then we put our pears in. So we toss to combine that bad boy. Time to plate the salad. Dinner is all sorted. Before I go to my hairdressers, how lovely does that look? Oh my god, I am going to pack Ned's one up. So I've written over here the macros because he's currently calorie counting, he's on a cut, and then I said put balsamic vinegar over the salad. So I will definitely pop his one into the uh, tub, but mine I'm gonna leave foil wrap and then have it when I come back home. But how gorgeous is this? So don't forget their Christmas bundle they've got on at the moment, their Christmas little um, promotion they've got on at the moment. And also I'll leave my code on the screen for you guys to use. Don't forget you get $150 off your first five boxes if you guys use my code. And thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the video and also this meal. My sister saw this post and then she's like, that's it. Give me a code. I'm ordering a Hello a Fresh box. But I have my recipes all over here in this little folder. Ready to go. That's my dinner. Got Ned's lunch ready. And then this is my lunch that I'm just picking out right now. I'm so hungry. It's like almost two o'clock. This is my lunch. Dinner. Ned's lunch to take to work. Let's go to my hair appointment. And this bad boy. Is coming with me because I have a lot of editing to do so while I'm at the hairdressers I'm gonna make use of my time if it fits in there there we go all right let's go I was gonna go in a really cute outfit but like listen I'm embracing all kinds of I'm too busy to care right now mm -mm. For those who don't know, who haven't been here for a long time, I keep a stash of sauces, cutlery, and salt in my car because I'm always freaking eating on the go. Why do I feel like I'm going to smash something? So the dilemma of today, why does my husband park this truck like this? I'm a short person. I can't see. The dilemma of today. I am going to the hairdressers a day before we're due to go to a wedding, a friend's wedding. And now my hair has some sort of goo on it because during COVID, during lockdown, when we were still, I uh, <laughs> love, my, love, my, love the fact that I'm holding a sauce bottle. <laughs> um, during COVID, I went to a family friend. We were still allowed to go to people's houses who, mind you, is a hairdresser, qualified hairdresser. And then I went to her place for me to get my extensions redone. And um, 
she did them she charged me six hundred dollars mind you and i paid that six hundred dollars because i'm like hashtag covid you know i'm not spending money on anything uh, so i did anyway fast forward four months later five months later six months later and i am going to my hairdressers and last time i tried to redo my extensions the goo didn't come off literally didn't come off so i had like a quarrel back and forth with this woman so-called family friend she's a friend of a family member or someone that my family whatever and um yeah so she's like oh i didn't use double-sided tape and the girls are bombshells is like no trust me that's double-sided tape it's not meant for hair it's like the ones you get out of bunnings so we went onto the bunnings website oh my god we found the exact same tape because she hadn't taped all of the hairs um onto my head so we had extra and there was like blue tape on it right anyway found out the 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 tape that she was using i asked her i said listen just tell me what it is because i need to go to bunnings or wherever the heck you got this tape from because clearly it's not for hair because the goo's not coming off um and the thing is she stuck on like a few hair bunches onto one another so they were like literally that thick not even kidding like when um you know a stack of hair you meant to set, sandwich it in between a really thin amount of hair of your own if you're doing extensions like tapes big shit show now the goo is still stuck in my hair and i have gotten a little bit of it off but i am taking like heavy duty she did tell me what glue she was using what tape she was using by the way after i like kind of got angry at her and i said listen she's like oh why didn't you come to me i'm like i'm not gonna even you know trust you with hair that falls off my head after this point I'm like are you joking sorry and I wasn't being rude, but the fact that she called me hunt and darling, that pissed me off. So mm. we're taking literally oomph, like goo and stain remover to hers. And I am going to go to Bunnings just to be on the safe side because the girls at Bombshells, they could not for the life of them take off the goo off my hair. They did two treatments. They did um, conditioner upon conditioner. They used two sorts of tape remover. It was the biggest shit show of our lives their hands were raw red raw anyway um yeah so that's my little dilemma so i'm gonna go to bunnings before my appointment i've literally got half an hour left so i need to somehow make it oh my this is so good can you guys see that oh mm -mm -mm. And then I'm going to listen to a true crime podcast right now. So this is the before of my hair. I don't know if it's going to get done. If it doesn't, we're not going to have hair to go to the to the wedding with. Am I okay with that? No. No. I'll have a mental breakdown. I'm not even joking. Hair is all fresh. I did end up getting new extensions because the other ones were ruined, but it is currently, <sighs> what's that? That's like almost six, 7.15 guys. So I was there from 2.30 onwards and now it's 7.15. I went through a shit show. The girls went through a shit show, but the hair is nice and smooth and a new fresh set of extensions are coming in i'm going to probably heat up my hello fresh dinner that um, i did make this morning but before that i'm going to sit down and do a little bit of uh, content i did end up editing the collaboration post for instagram for hello fresh so i'm just going to send that over i make my i pre-make my coffees like this i do is i just throw that i used to do this back when i was in high school and then it went viral on TikTok, like maybe two years ago. But your girl has been doing it forever. And then you get foamy coffee. I didn't get to edit my vlog at all. So I'm gonna sit down, do that, send my stuff to HelloFresh to the um, marketing manager that's dealing with my, like is doing my managing and then have some dinner, but I can't have dinner without getting my work done. It just won't happen. I know the lighting is disgustingly horrible, but sorry. 
it is currently 7.43, so I spent just a little bit of time speaking to Ned. I didn't have any time to see him. He came home last night and went, went to bed. He's working all night shifts this week. And then this morning, I trained, trained my client and then left, well, did some content as you guys saw, and then I left to go to the hairdressers and then he trained after my client while I was doing content with his friend. And then straight after that, they went to go get their hair done and also pick up um, our dry cleaning. And then, yeah, I didn't see him. I left his food on the bench as you guys saw. And I just spoke to him now. He goes, I'm gonna come home early because I've got a 6 a.m. start tomorrow. So um, before he comes home, I just wanna get my stuff done, like for the day. I do have a few things to do. Actually, I'll start off with my with my content. So I've written up my email. I know most people don't put up stuff like this, but like, so I've written it up. All of my hang on. See, I'm just very open with you guys. Okay, all of my content is there. This is what ha it happens on the back end of. Um, content creation so all of these need to be sent for approval with the dates included the times included that I'm going to be posting that are up so that's the video one that'll go on my stories and then I have a post that's going to go up which is that with the cover photo being Ta -da! Okay. so now I've got to choose two pieces of content for a carousel kind of image um, I'm going to go with this one, we'll just favourite that one, and then, and then this one, and then this one. Great, let's send that over, because I did mention to her before in the email that no matter what, because this needs to go up in like two days, no matter what time it is tonight, I know it's a Saturday, so I love, um, but I will be sending them for approval so they can get approved. So poor woman. Well enjoy the little montage of me at least, okay? I shall watch a YouTube video. <laughs> Why not? I have never ever tasted. Something that good in my life. And then the potato. Mmm. 